Pick up the mic now. Hello. Yeah, that's Elton good. John invited me to Passover Seder. It was like this Elton big John? Passover Seder. I'd love to hear him and sing. And I felt sing the very pr- exclusive. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is. Going. It might be because is isn't Jewish? he in that Bohemian Rhapsody movie? He makes an appearance or something. N- Maybe that's no. what. Because I just saw that. I just saw it too. I don't think he was in that. Unless they. I thought. They referred I was to like, him. Why am I thinking about Elton John? They did uh, mention him in it. They did mention him because uh, he was part of Live Aid. Yeah, because I just. Maybe that. I was wondering, like, why am I. <laughs> um, Hi, Ariel Cavusi, director of uh, The Professor and the Poet. Is it recording? Did I get Are it we the right going? Yes. Did so I get the right share, order? Should we just share mine? What? He's got his own mic. Oh, okay. I was like, where's What kind of two bit operation do you think this is? Basically, it's the operation that it was probably the last time you you made Because I, I used to have owner's recorder. He lent me it or gave it to me, essentially. This isn't this it. Is no, I upgraded. One? Yeah. And that one only I had have, a... I have one of these. These are good. Yeah, they are good. And they, they only have room for two mics, though, which is, you know, after a while, it was embarrassing. Because I, I would have to have people share all the time, and I don't like doing that. Yeah. Uh... Is it the so professor like, and the poet, or is it the poet and the professor? I, I don't want to. The poet and the I'll professor. Fix. The poet and the professor. Okay, um, so. Yes. And. Exactly uh, what it's called. He's the professor. Clearly. The poet. He's the poet. You're the poet. That's unclear to me because it's like you're reading poetry with Bob's character. Oh, interesting. No. Uh, um, you know, he's a he's a poet. As a, he's like he's the artist. That's the idea. Like the poet. He's not a literal poet. I mean, he's a, he's playing a cinematographer, but to me, he's okay. he's an artist. Oh, I see. I, it's really we just you know catchy yeah. title two P's P and P. I suppose can't go. Yeah, it's definitely you know. <laughs> okay, so I, the it cinematographer wasn't and the professor just is not as catchy, you know. <laughs> yeah, the DP. The D- oh, that's maybe getting, the DP. The that's DP. that's getting closer, but still. <laughs> that is close. Still. I gotta call you next time. I'm, Figuring out titles. <laughs> I think you did fine. <laughs> Thank you. Don't don't call me for that. <laughs> but titles uh, are hard. Can though. I get the trashing of Bob Byington out of the way? All right, just Ugh. just so you know, I emailed Bob. And he didn't write you back. No, he did. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. I wish <laughs> he hadn't. Because he, because <laughs> I wrote him. I said, you know, I'm I'm sitting with, with we're I'm getting together with Ariel and Kevin to, to talk about. <laughs> the poet and the professor, and you know, because it's special, it's going on IndieWire. We're trying to get people to see it, uh, you know, yeah. to be aware that it's going to be on this. Their stream, they're going to stream it on off their website, so a lot of people have the opportunity to see it. In fact, this this will put this up on that day that it goes up, so people could hear it and then go directly and watch it. You know, it'll be perfect timing. So uh, anyway, and, and then he, so he writes back and he goes, "Not interested." <laughs> There you go. You that's Bob. That's it. He's, you know. Yeah. At least no, I know. He's not. He responds. Some people he's don't. Being f- being some his, people don't. Yeah. Look, I, I think of Bob like he's like a cat. You know, he's kind yes, of just like a, a good... I think that's a perfect. He has a lot of cats, you know. I forgot. That's right. Like he's just kind of this. Cats can be a little bit, you know. What do you, what do you thought? <laughs> you I mean you've known it how, you've no. So he knew we were doing this? Well, I just let him know yesterday uh yeah. the day before yesterday I emailed him and then the yeah. next morning I I I, woke I up. didn't I didn't That's why t- he didn't pick up the phone when I called him this morning. I didn't You yeah. did? I mean maybe I should uh oh. Are you gonna? This is totally. <laughs> he was, I didn't tell I him about cuz I figured it's mm-hmm. just like New York we're in New York. Oh yeah. With, Oh, totally. No, I was going to su- make it a surprise. I was going to say, let's just call him up. And then I put the mic on the phone speaker and just for a kick. Like, I thought it'd be funny. Yeah. And I thought he'd appreciate. I don't know why I thought that. But you're right. He's like a cat because cats can, I, can come over, rub against you. And then you pet them and they purr. And then you pick mm-hmm. them up to put on your lap. And then they go like that. They, I, I just did a, like, a scra- like a scratch. They'll just turn on. Like, just say, nah, so. you're, I don't want to have anything to do. You know, they'll be like that. And, and I'm not saying he's catty, but I'm saying... But that well, part they, of the cat's I mean, thickly. I've heard things as, I mean, you worked as, I would love to work with him as, I'm an actress, oh, sure. as you know. I'd love to be in one of his movies. I've heard <laughs> he can be temperamental. I can only speak as to me directing him. Mm-hmm. And he was yeah. just amazing to work with, extremely professional. Absolutely. And uh, right. like, 
I really respect him and his films really inspire me. So it meant a lot to me to have him be a part of this project. Um, and same goes for Kevin, who's right here. Um, and yeah, it was just, I think I'm really so proud of the performances in this film. And Bob is primarily, he's a filmmaker. I just saw he has a new movie at South by Southwest. We can prop him up, which I would love to see, um, which is really exciting. And well, you, you better get to a festival. Hmm? To South joking. by I'm just Southwest. Joking. I'm just joking. joking. I no, would, no, I, no, no, no. It'll I be a festival. So I really, um, you know, yeah. Yeah, no, he's I, fun. I think No, no, I'm kidding around. Bob's a great filmmaker, and he's he, a great guy. Uh, and, and, yeah. But I may right. excise this entire part because, you know, he, you he'll, probably, he'll love to be trashed or, you know, like he would enjoy, it, I think, more than uh, than. <laughs> I uh, mean, I it's care. a thing. But you see him in this short because if you're listening, because because he's really is great. Uh, and, and I do like his acting work. He's very he's, good. He, actor. Is, he is very good. He's very, perform- very great presence on screen. Wouldn't you say, Kevin? Absolutely. People don't funny know as him hell. for his act. They know his films, but he's done a little bit of work. And really, the the decision to cast him was because I saw him in another indie Which one? film. I saw The Color Wheel. Oh, yeah, right. Where he played a professor having an affair with a student. And I thought, this that's what I need. I need that for my film. I need someone who's, because that's what I wrote about. Yeah. And so it's a little bit of typecasting, but a lot of people, they see him, they don't know who he, he is. Like no. they don't know his face and they're like, who is that guy? That right. they, obviously they know Kevin and that's not a surprise, but it's like, who is that guy? That guy's really great. Like, where'd you find that guy? Mm, yeah, no, he's, you he's know, terrific. with Bob, it's yeah. just like every, every time I show it, that's what people say. Like literally every, like where, where do you that? That guy's like, I want to meet that guy or something. Absolutely. That's the way I felt. And then I did meet him, and I was very disappointed. So, <laughs> uh, and he's done this. No, he's the, he once did the podcast uh, very early on. It was at a South by Southwest, in fact, because it must have been after, uh, I don't know, one of his earlier films. And, uh, and, um, and that season, that year, that when I was at Austin, my equipment got stolen. What? Oh, got your equipment got, got in te- in Austin in a cl- in a like at one of the parties that they had. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to get all you know so sidetracked, you to, but but so it got so I felt really him. bad, and I emailed him, uh, and I said, you know, I feel really bad. I said, but I but that the you know the the recording, all the my equipment got stolen, and the recordings are gone. So shoot, and, that's yeah, thing. I had actually well, some of the stuff I did had been transferred already over. I transferred it off, mm. but not that. And he was he was emailed me back and he goes that sucks I'm sorry you know and he's usually been like that so I I don't really mean to so. yeah but uh, anyhow um, I'm hoping that this movie like I'm glad that so it's gonna be on IndieWire like next week the what? poet and the professor the short film that I wrote directed and starred in where yeah. Kevin Corgan and Bob Byton are the You're two so good in it. other male leads mm-hmm. and I. Uh, yeah, it's a short film about a young, struggling, aimless writer who just gets involved in these two equally dysfunctional affairs. One with her professor, who Bob Byton plays, and the other with the poet, the ke- who's a cinematographer. He's not a poet, but yeah, that's Kevin Corrigan's character. And uh, yeah, madness ensues, chaos, comedy, <laughs> tragedy. We premiered at Maryland Film Festival. We did the whole there. festival. Were you there for the premiere? I was in the city. It, it was. <laughs> I was at the honestly, festival. Honestly, it was the best, think. the best. It was uh, best. Like the people there. I think Bal- that's just Baltimore. You know, like the city of John Waters, who's a. I love. I'm like he's a huge inspiration. You know, mm-hmm. I think it was just the best audience yeah. ever. It's and, great. Have you been there? But it Kevin? played a bunch of other Baltimore. Baltimore. Well, it's the Maryland Film Festival, which is in Baltimore. Have you been to that festival ever? No. If 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 time and circumstances ever lead you to that op- opportunity, take it because it, it it's a small festival. It's all like in a maybe s- within six blocks, and there's like five venues, and it's in the heart of this really s- real city, like real urban center. Yeah. And uh, but yeah. but y- but they they do a great job there. They do a great job, and they really. And they have this one theater, the the main place where you know the the main location. 
and it's fantastic. They have a really great couple. It's like this. It's old theater, but they renovated it and updated it, and they, you know, they. But this main building is still intact, and they, you know, it's like one of those things where they kind of built around, like, kind of a new exterior around it. Right to preserve it and to update it you know make it yeah and but it's but the festival is great programming and just it's a wonderful you know experience to go to that yeah like my, i have family in baltimore so that's great because I'm, I'm not even going i can't because my kid uh i can't go to like the festival any other it's all right i don't care but i i'm just I'm, but that one i want to definitely go to and i would love too, to bring my yeah. kid to. i'm gonna go this year i'm gonna go back it's kind of it's really nice yeah the programming there is just so um, just innovative and experimental and creative. They take a lot of risks. Um, I just well, they really, put your short in. I there. mean, yeah, and also they did put our short in, which is that was not it. That was a sure thing. I no, I don't know. I mean, because it is a long. It's twenty four minutes mm-hmm. long, which is a little bit longer That's than true. more of short films. So, but I think they just, we knew, they knew it was just like a perfect fit. Uh, and we played with other really cool things. Was yours uh, like the first short? Do, yeah. Did they put the long, long one in the front? I don't, I don't I know how even, they do that. They may have. They, I think they put it first. Yes, they did. Oh. I remember they put it first. Yeah, I think that was their idea. Yeah. Kevin, have you done, have you, you've done some shorts, right? Other shorts, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of this 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 idea as a actor that the there's pressure on filmmakers like Ariel to keep uh, obviously she ignored it didn't succumb to this pressure but there is a lot of pressure that keep you know they make these shorts they keep them really uh, lean like programmers want five ten minutes somewhere in there like at the most so it's very hard to get like I think you would have gotten yours in I think it would have probably gotten into South by Southwest but they probably thought it was too long they probably can't yeah. I don't I know I mean I know for I'm a just fact saying that's or why something. I actually oh it is I know for a fact that's why it's it's, it's kind of it makes total sense but then it's Does also it? like it leaves out a lot of really great films that just right even there there are films that just are as long as they need to be and Sometimes they're like 41 minute feature length films and that's how long it has to be. And it's kind of unfortunate that those films have get lost. Fine art. I feel like we did a considering we did a great festival run. Yeah. Um, and I'm really happy with it. And we, I didn't have to compromise or anything. But mm-hmm. I mean, it, may, it makes sense. There's so many great films and that's what are you going to do as a program? I've programmed, I've programmed short films before. So I understand. Yeah. You want to try to get as but many. As you want to get as many help. good stuff in. Right. Um, so you're taking yeah. away from, I mean, that's the argument. I don't believe it. But it's like that you're taking the place of other films that could exactly. be in it. But yeah. you're, do you yeah. know about this? About just that with this whole thing of like her, her short had difficulty because <clears throat> it's uh, the length of it. Yeah, I've heard about that. You know, uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know, there's a criteria for how long a, a, a short film can be how long a feature, what constitutes true a for feature too. length, and that's true. all that stuff uh, I, hasn't, uh, um, you know, the the webisode mm. right. revolution mm-hmm. made all of that thinking uh, obsolete. I mean, like you said, a movie is as long as it. Should be. It needs to be. It's an organic thing, right? Like, I, 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 when I finally watched this the other day, I was telling Ario, it's like, it's a long movie. <laughs> it's, it's longer than I, there's a lot. Did you think it was going to be uh, that long? You didn't, I, obviously I, you didn't. I didn't really, I don't know. I, I guess I, it, it was out of my mind. So I, for, for so long, we made it two years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I, there was so much more to it than I remembered their being mm. but it, it's not not that it was too long or anything it was it was like uh, uh how long is it 20 minutes it's 22 minutes it, and that was hard it was hard we got it, i had uh, i had help edi- i edited the film but I, ha- I had help my brother is a professional editor oh, you've met right. my brother. justin he helped me with some scenes, trimming, and also Zach Clark was really helpful Great guy. too. Yeah, nice guy. And like nice kind guy. of fine tuning it and really make like, mm-hmm. does this have to be in the movie? So you, you know, right? We so 
Did he? Did Zach Clark? Because Zach is a filmmaker, but he's also an editor and edited of yeah. quite a few movies. Did he uh, understand why it should should have been the length that it is? Ultimately, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. that's good to know. I mean, he we went to him. We're like, "Can you please whatever you can do?" And I think he trimmed trimmed off like two minutes or mm-hmm. whatever. But the thing is, so I have a feature version of this film. I think in the back of my head, I was just like. More, more, more. And I still, if anyone's listening, you love what you see in the short film. Become a producer. There's more. I have lots more of this. And um, What does that mean? You have lots more of this. Lots more. I have a feature length version. In the footage the sh- you, t- you shot? No, 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 no. I'd like to a make. A story. Okay. If there are any investors out there. I got you. I understand uh, that. Friendly so, philanthropists right. but you're who saying- want to fund a young female filmmaker. Um, but well, yeah. Yeah. Kevin, are you signed up for this? Sure. Oh wow! I, I, They're saying that. Yeah, Kevin. I. It's been a while. We're all getting older. Like I wrote this for a young woman, and I'm get. You know, I'm like, can I play this part? Do I want to play this part? I'm kind of open to recasting myself for a feature. Get some. No, to- I'm not. That's really. what oh, no, other no, people oh. are like. No, no way, do no. not do that. But I'm like, uh. and um, you know, if we could get, you know, uh, but the guys there, I'd love. To, yeah, same. Okay, but Kev, so you guys are we, like, we maybe spent the first you won't want to do it. <laughs> we spent the first 15 minutes <laughs> criticizing Bob Byington, and now we're expecting to cast him in the feature <laughs> version of this. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll be his, I'll be his uh, stand-in double. Is that what they call it? When yeah, you I should. My mind. You know I can do some comedy. So <laughs> Anyway, I could try to pull off a professorial. But you're right. He, he, in Color Wheel, he was pretty great. What is, uh, Kevin, what is the Ariel Cavusi set? Like, how much of a tyrant is this woman? She comes off very, very sweet and uh, loving and nurturing in person, but I'd like to know what she is like on the set. Well, she was like a first-time filmmaker. <laughs> she, she didn't really seem like... It, 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 it was, it was I, I guess Valerie seemed like... Oh, Valerie. She was running things. Steinberg? Mm. You were acting. You know, you were in character. Mm. It was... I mean, I, I was really impressed by how how uh, uh, how uh, specific the movie was. You know, like it was a... It was a, um, a, a, um, a very uh, specific vision. You know, it was like an aerial movie. But I remember when we were making it, you were, I mean, when, I mean, any director needs a lot of, as much help as they can get uh, on, on the film set, but it was, um, um, I, you know, it was, it was like a movie set. It was okay, like any that's movie. That's good. No, that, that, that's good. That's uh, but, good. But, uh, but I, I think... Th- the whole the production was anchored in some very strong writing and you knew what movie you wanted to make and i mean i remember i i don't i don't mean to put you on the spot i i I do remember your nervous energy because you had so much invested in the thing Mm -hmm. as as a writer and as an actor Mm -hmm. as as a director you know but like uh, I'm, i'm always looking for like i i i I, I, when I'm working on uh, acting in something, I, I just want to know that I have a relationship with the director, and we definitely had that. Mm-hmm. You know, it was like I don't care what anyone else is. Everyone else is doing their job and doing what they need to do. But all, all I need to know is that I'm on the same page with the director, mm-hmm. and we were definitely on the same page. I felt mm-hmm. supported, and I trusted Ariel, and. I I think the feeling was mutual, and uh, once the camera was rolling, we were making the movie that we set out to make. Uh, and and I and but then that was two years ago. I forgot I made this movie. <laughs> when I saw it the other day, I was like, "Wow, that came out really good!" But big surprise, you know, you 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 didn't you 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 knew what movie you wanted to make, and you made it, and you you know, however you conducted yourself on the set as you you were the way you needed to be 
But and I, I'm not I'm, I'm insinuating anything that you that you were difficult or anything like that. It was just every every director is is a basket case. <laughs> every one of them, every one of them. Uh, uh, so that's 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 it's a lot of pressure, that's, right? That's 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 all that's, that's allowed. That's expected. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, it, it's it's all it's because. Uh, uh, um, I mean, sometimes it, you know a, a, a director's nervousness will 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 turn out to be because they didn't know what they were doing or what they. they it turns out they didn't know what they wanted, right, yeah. but that's not the case with with this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it was like there was a, anyway. That's my answer to that. Uh, 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 but um, you were talking about making this into a feature i'm wondering if because i made a, a film with tom de a long time ago now called living in oblivion and it started out as a 20 minute short film or 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 a mini feature if you will i think you know if a movie's 20 minutes long it's it's really not a short film in my opinion <laughs> it's it's a feature but it's a it's a short it's a short feature I I think that that it it should be designated as such, you know. It's, it's uh, and they and and they shouldn't be. Um, uh, um, I don't think films sh- should be rejected on uh, on that basis be- because they're well, it's twenty minutes, so it's we can't program. <laughs> Yeah, the, other way, the reason it was brought up because the festi- the festi- festival is a business, you know, so right, it comes right. down to yeah, that. Yeah, it comes yeah. down to that. But, you know, it's really a great way to talk about the... F- it must be really nice to hear his... his resp- yeah, I his, mean, uh, that was great to hear your... Ex- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whole, like, look, people who say that filmmaking is fun, like, wh- who... How... It's one of the most stressful. I mean, it's really one of the most stressful things you could do, especially low budget filmmaking. Sure. But then it's just like people like the filmmaker. That must be so much fun. It's not fun. It's <laughs> rewarding. Right. Oh, it's okay. what you get at the end. You're like, right. I did this. I set out to. I achieved this. You know, doing a project like this is that de- is when a dream of mine. Like since I was very young, and to have Kevin involved, it's it's really like a dream come true. Yeah. But it was not. It was hard. Yeah. And there were times That's... where I was like, "This what? Well, if, this is just especially that because I'm some of these scenes. You know, we had to do all the fighting scenes before 10 p.m. And I kind of, you know, I'm a method actor, so. It's hard for me to go in and out of character. I really have to feel these feelings to... That's just what works for me. And I was so tired. I was so tired after our fight scenes, and we had to do it a lot of times. I was exhausted. And, um, you know, I can... Watching myself, I'm like, gosh, I'm so tired in that scene. Nobody seemed to notice, but... And I was surprised. Like, you're, you're just, like... Some actors just have infinite well, amount of energy directing. and i'm like well he wasn't directing doing? how is he doing like, well he wasn't he... directing at the same time and that, also i guess that's true as and well. also and also uh i think as a as an actor i could just inter- she 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 brought this to your attention not mine but i married was married to one but she you know you really have to be an athlete about it you yeah. have to really if tra- it, train if and, it's... and and you have to pace yourself and you have to s- preserve and yeah. and and meditate whatever you got to do to so when you go the, to the set you bring it and that right. you have the, the that's necessary right yeah sure you, you you have to prepare for the moment when you 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 you're, you're gonna hit you're gonna hit a wall you have to anticipate that that's gonna happen and you have to be you know you have to don't use the wall analogy anymore it's lost all its <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's true. no I'm kidding I get you and yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm it's it's uh, you have to, you have to know how you're gonna um uh uh um keep going yeah Ke- Kevin how did you uh how did you get involved though I mean d- how did you did did you know Ariel through through connection friendships or how did you uh, get or how did you get the script the screenplay or whatever how did that 
forgot. I can't remember. I I yeah, I, 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 I think um, Bob. Maybe I knew Bob, Bob right. but I I knew owner. Owner too, right? And and um, but I I don't remember how we met. I mean, yeah, ever I've been acting. You know, I feel like we knew each other socially just through like the New York indie film scene. Ever since I graduated from college, I went for filmmaking, but I've been acting for other people. Right. And I feel like we just kind of met randomly through that. But, yeah, I mean, Bob Byton's really, I'm, you know, I asked, we were trying to find, you know, his. Right. His. Uh, Counter, whatever. His counterpart, yeah. Right. And, yeah. and, you know, got, got, got his, uh, got him the script through. Through Bob, really. So you read it? No, <laughs> yeah, I think Bob de- definitely. Uh, um, Bob told me about this project and said, you, you should do it. I'm going to be in New York working on this movie, so it would be an excuse for us to hang out. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, but I, but I, maybe that's how we met, but I, I feel like we already knew each other before, before yeah, that. Yeah, I think so, I think. Yeah, for sure. New York. I mean, yeah, I acted in this project. It was called the Deflowering of Ariel Levon. It was a feature-length film. It played at some indie festivals, hmm. and um, after that, I acted in Owners to Kel's work. As an own, owner to Kel, I acted in Catfight. So, hmm. I definitely have been enmeshed in the New York indie film scene. Also, I'm like obsessive cinephile, so we probably could have just met at a movie screen. I mean, I meet actors at like, a lot of people ask me, you know, how did you get cast in that movie? Like, or how do you get to be an actress? I'm like, you can meet filmmakers, like go see an old movie at the MoMA. You'll see like, mm-hmm. I mean, I wouldn't go up to certain, there's certain people I probably wouldn't go up to, you know, but yeah, no, Kevin, you kind of like, you, yeah. meet, you meet good people kind of organically. Yeah. Um, and Kevin so. is a very approachable and uh, social guy. Actually, it turns out I was a little. I <laughs> you came to a screening I hosted once in a. Uh, where the hell was that? Oh, it was in. Uh, Are you taking a Crown Heights? Selfie? No, no. What well, was the screening in uh, Crown Heights? It was at the Franklin Street, not this Franklin Street, but the one in. Uh, the, well, the one in. Uh, Should we take a photo? I was going to take a picture. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll take it. We well, should, because I like to do that for the... Uh, I I'd it? love to take, th- if you could, th- yeah. You want me to in this? Because uh, I will get up close and personal here. There we go. That's a good picture. Well, as I'm asking her a question. That's good. <laughs> we just took yeah, a photo. So I don't know if the, this, I, how much you edit this. We just took a photo. Kevin just took a photo. Uh, but so people <laughs> miss all the magic. <laughs> if I edit the, that out. Um, maybe ed- I always look in the wrong. <laughs> p- I feel like I'm, rock, I, you know, looking in the wrong place. We'll get another picture because I, I like to put it up too for the, uh, the, you know, when I post the episode mm-hmm. on Thursday, get a little bit of <laughs> promoting it for, for so that people go and see it uh, again on uh, the Poet of the Professor. What the short we're talking about? Short. Okay. Let's stop calling it here for our purposes. It's, it's just a it's film. A it doesn't even matter. And it's on on a website. Indiewire, Indie the number Indie one Wire. like. The number one, you know, f- like kind of inf- independent film and right. art house film, and well, they yeah. they kind of deal with the whole film industry at this stage. They've grown so much, but that's yeah. a great place for uh, p- uh, potentially like many many people to see it. So congratulations Thank on that. You. That's great. Yeah, there, what, but more mean, people see it there than we'll see it at South by Southwest or well, uh, Sundance even. So who cares? Discussion, yo. Should we kind of have a? P- should we have a pay it. like I didn't want to be in a situation where the movie there was a paywall where right. you, people had to rent it because no. I really want as many people to see right. the movie. I made it because I made it for other young women who might be going through similar things to feel less alienated, less alone. As you a, mean as a filmmaker or as, as the a, character in the movie? As a filmmaker. Oh, okay, because what you went through in the movie is you're going to I'm sorry, you're going to be alone in that. I'm just, kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That character, what she goes through is very... I'm just exactly. Just, the character just, goes as a young woman. She goes through some uncomfortable experiences, um, which makes for great comedy. So yes, it's worth definitely. It. Um, so pain is comedy. You know that's how, how I see it. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I really wanted as that. That's the whole idea behind this. Try to get as many people don't have that paywall, even if there are there were some kind of right. good opportunities. <laughs> 
Um, but and how yeah. much are you really going to make? Is it worth it? You know, it's not worth. Yes, maybe it's, it's not, not worth, worth it. it. And it just goes, you know, what is the whole reason? Why did I want to do this? It's yes. not really. I mean, I love making movies. I love cinema. But ultimately, I have a political kind of goal here. I, right. I have a reason, you know, to do th this is the reason. Try to make other people who are going through similar things, especially women. A side effect I've found out from a lot of Q&As is that men also relate to the film because ultimately it's about loneliness, mm -hmm. being alone, and how people act. Um, but really, I just was like, I have not seen these things depicted in a way that I feel is quite realistic certain things certain things about female desire and female sexuality and things you know obviously it's it, go, it should go without saying especially now that movies hollywood ha, it had we have a representation problem mm -hmm. you know now people are finally starting to talk about it um the movies coming out now we made the movie two years ago it's just kind of a Very coincidence right. now that this is mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. So yeah. So go to It'll be on IndieWire and, uh, and like next yeah. week. I don't know when. So, it and so if you, well, this is going to be when people are listening to this, it will be on the same day. I think it so will already, already be. Up. Yeah. yeah. So that means that as soon as we finish this, so don't stop the recording yet. <laughs> yeah. But then after, as soon as we're you're done listening to the segment, you can go directly to IndieWire on your phone or on your com biggest screen you can possibly find. Uh, one thing that Kevin and watch it. One Kevin thing Kevin said before is like you know he, you know he also noticed the that you had value you had like the, your producer Valerie Steinberg is that her name? Yeah, Valerie, right? yeah, I know her. I mean, she's yeah. a, she's really uh, competent and it's important to have like people, like especially as a first time filmmaker, it's invaluable, right, to have somebody who's oh, yeah. a real really and like on make... the ball and really smart and talented in your corner like that, right? Because it's, it's people huge. who make movies understand how. Like the idea of the director is almost an arbitrary distinction because of how highly right. collaborative it is. Right. You know, Valerie is almost, she was a director. To, she was the director she, herself. Oh. So was the cinematographer. Oh, right. did, we, yep, so was no, the cinematographer. Um, and I had to surround myself with people I really trusted sure. because I knew I wasn't going to, like we were saying, on set, I didn't want to have to think about everything. I, I wanted to get into the my character. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I mean, she definitely, she put on her, she was wearing a lot of hats, mm -hmm. as you do in a, in a low-budget movie. Um, Who's people your... wear multiple hats. But, yeah, she was definitely... Um, you know, she changed the whole tone of the piece for the better, for the much, for the better. And now her and the cinematographer, they've gone well, on. Who's that? Just uh, Charlotte see. Hornsby is the cinematographer. The year after she did our movie, she won, she did DP the best short film at Sundance. Then the year after that, she also won the best short film for DP, mm -hmm. you know, and so did Valerie last year. I introduced them. Thank you very much. I introduced these people. But um, Have they, had they met on my set. <laughs> they, need to, they need to name their next, their first kid after you then, or, or whatever the equivalent is. But I'm not sure I could get them now. I'm a, I was very lucky I got them at well. the time. But yeah, they're they're brilliant, both of them, mm -hmm. um, and they're just so passionate about movies. It was really, you know, it was important that it had a primarily female crew because of the content, right. because of how I was going to make myself vulnerable. I just, I will, you know, it was really important. It's hard to find a really good female DP in New York. It's hard. It is. It's huh? really hard. So we had to search really, I had searched for a while and I met Charlotte through some recommendation. And at the time I was like, she didn't have, she had recently graduated from NYU. She didn't have that much. But when I met her, just the passion, I was like, this is it. Like, I, this is the person, you know, um, it, it's kind of, it, it's upsetting how many people in film don't watch movies. I don't know if you find that. Like cinematographers, actors who don't watch movies, it's a it's a pet peeve. Are you talking about? I, I know what you mean. It's like, why do you why do you want to do this then? Like, what you just like? 
Anyway. Can I ask you, are you talking about like contemporary, like their compa- com- 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 contemporary films that their colleagues are making and, and acting in? Or are you talking about the pan? Oh, I hate the, the canon, the, the, canon cinem- the pantheon, yeah, whatever. Any, yeah. I mean, you know, everything. like the films, the reference points that are pretty major, like, you know, whether it's. I've talked to. I've talked to actors and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, I'm going to see a movie at Metrograph. They're like, what's Metrograph? Oh, I'm like, how could you? I'm so, I'm going to be pretentious, but how could you live in New York City and be an actor, be a movie and not know what that? I don't know. It's like not knowing what I have seen anyway. Mm-hmm. And and the amount of cinematography I met, like, was just like astound. But whatever. But it, you. To go on about, uh, I'm not it, it, it's just bothers about doing me a, because I feel the the the, 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 the cinematographer thing. Because you're right, she, I was thinking, starting just, to think about that. Like I know Rachel Morrison and I, you know Rachel Morrison. Yeah, yeah. She went to the same summer camp I did. So. Oh really? But she's like 20 years younger, so that's not. I don't know her that other than that connection. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just trying to get a good little video clip, maybe, but I'll, I'll just. Uh, yeah, video. go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I'm just. Uh, do I, Do you have like a? Yeah, if you have a, like a, a, a feeling about. Uh, but uh, uh, wait, I just want to finish because you've already. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just want to say you. that we did a lot of planning, a lot of meticulous. Everything was so that way when I was on set, that's why it makes sense what, what's Kevin saying. Like, oh, you were you were deferring to Valerie. This was all plan. Like this was like I don't want to make these decisions, Valerie. What are we doing? Because I was like, no. I'm in character. I don't want to have to think about that. So, but that's part of, that's part, every director has their own way of doing things. That's also, just my, that's what works for me. If Maybe it would be different if I wasn't starring in the movie. I, I, I mean, I know it would be different. I wouldn't, it would probably be quieter conversations. Um, but but it, yeah. because you're acting in it, you're in every moment of it. Exactly. Essentially, yeah. I don't remember, yeah. right? I, I don't remember because so, I yeah. watched it again last night. But I was, uh, uh, you really need to have then, and it's your first time, so you really need to have somebody who's in back of the camera who's an advocate. Right. Yeah, right. Who's, you who, know. Who, know, who like knows what you know. I, who knows what I'm going for, knows yeah. what we're going to, we're trying to achieve. And mm. um, yeah, so those ladies, I'm just. So grateful to them. <laughs> yeah. Kevin, much direct. Have you direct? You've directed, right? Have you direct? No. You haven't directed. No. Let me rephrase that. Kevin, why haven't you directed anything? Because uh, it seems to me like. He, that's you like write. A, well, like you're a writer. Oh, you write. That's more of where you're interested in lies, maybe in the, in the creative, otherwise, other than acting, obviously, which is. Or do you just feel like. I could keep going. Maybe you should just I should just shut up and let you speak. I, I I'd like to direct, but um, it's it's too um, it it's I mean like watching someone like Ariel direct a movie makes me feel like I'm not ready to 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 jump on that moving. It's it's like. A, I'm not ready to jump into that marathon I, yet. I don't know. I, 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 I if I, if if I if if someone asked me to direct something, I might I might consider it. I don't get those kinds of I don't I don't get directing offers. And and I I I, I think I'd, I I feel like if I do direct it, it has to be something that I wrote. But I I haven't. Uh, I haven't um, put together anything definitive, you know, um, something seaworthy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you can launch out onto the sea of did you was that movie that I that I could bring to 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 a producer who yeah. said, well, "What do you think of this? This is this is good, right?" Uh-huh. Was that movie? Uh-huh. Did you the movie kicked in the head? Did you? Was that your? Did you di- you didn't direct that? You no. just wrote it. I, I, I love that. Yeah. But you wrote it. I co-wrote it. You co-wrote. Great movie. Another movie about like I aimless kind of. What when did you write that? Mm. Aimless guy. Just 
I like movies about where the lead character doesn't know what they're doing. And <laughs> I just like art where the people are suffering and like don't know what they're doing. I hate art where it's about how cool you are, how stylish you are. Give a good like, example of that. About how like, cool. <laughs> I, I mean, know. look anywhere. Just it's just. Yeah. I just don't like. I just don't like that. T- I don't get the point of it. You know. I feel like I relate more to like. Yeah, like I kicked in the head. When did you write that one? Or? Uh, the movie came out in 1997. It was written maybe two years earlier than that. I, I can't remember. 93, 94, 90, I, I, um, That was directed by Matthew Harrison. Mm-hmm. What was it called? Kicked in the Head. Oh, Kicked in the Head, right, yeah. I mean, you might as well call the poet Wasn't and the professor Michael Rappaport? that, too. Michael Rappaport's <laughs> in that, too, right? Michael Rappaport. Hit in the head. Yeah. Michael's in that, right? Michael Rappaport. Linda Fiorentino. Burt Young. Burt James oh my Bush. Gosh. Wow. What? Oh, God. You're going to just <laughs> have to come back and do the podcast just to tell me about that movie. Yeah. I think that's got to have some anecdotes on that set. I heard about, no, you know what? I, I'm going to, let me turn this off. Not fair to do that. I, I I just discovered, and it's been on for years. You know, Michael Rappaport has this uh, podcast. You know, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I just kind of discovered. It. He talks a lot about sports and stuff, so it's not just about. But he he his whole thing. He's incredibly good at this. What he's doing. He's uh he he's very funny, but he he talks about that that set. Uh, I just happened to come across. I literally, even though I guess I heard that he was doing this, but it, it just finally I was like looking for a podcast to listen to something different, and I came across it. And it is, it is definitely, uh, it's it's very very unique and entertaining. Mm-hmm. And uh, he did talk about that. I'm not mm-hmm. looking for trash talk, but it's it happens to. Mm-hmm. He he'll just say it, but he didn't go into much more detail than James Wood was. A, a complete. Uh-huh. You know, oh, Michael talked about kicked in the head on his podcast. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yeah. I gotta hear that. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, tr- I'll, I'll find it again. It might, you know, it's one of the. It was not. I think it was one of the more recent ones. It just referring to it, and he brought, he brought up your name. I just remembered it, so that's how I connected it. When you brought up the film, but he's, it sounded like a great experience. But he said specifically that after like a minute of, like he was so excited to meet James Woods. You know, mm-hmm. I could understand that given the body of work that that guy's done and the, you know. Mm-hmm. It's James Woods, he's a great actor. Yeah, yeah. So that doesn't take away from that, you know. Right. Yeah. Anyway, um, well, it was sort of getting back to the Bob. <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't. Uh, e- I'm not well, equating Bob like Byington and James Woods. I'm not. Uh, yes. uh, oh. J- Hold that mic a little closer. Oh. Just okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, but yeah, these stories, these kind of, these are the stories that are inspire me and inspired me to make this movie i mean i would not have made the movie had not it should be obvious it's sometimes it's not obvious had tiny furniture not had that not been made because when i saw that movie i was like i didn't my favorite reaction to a piece of art is kind of like i i didn't know we were allowed to do that that's my favorite I saw that movie and i was like this is i i want to i i want to do this but for Ariel, mm-hmm. like what this is, I'm. Co- I mean, she's a huge inspiration, and Lena, I love Lena her work, Dunham, Lena Dunham. Yeah, I love her work, but I'm also completely different from her. I come from a totally different background. Sure. Um. So, but it's like these characters who are just have no idea what they're doing, really confused and lost right. because I think most that's more close to reality. That's cl- more close to like how people really are. You know, this whole idea that like And I should I should say when Lena Dunham made that movie T- Tiny Furniture he, yeah. about 7 or 8 years ago, with more than that, closer to 10 now, right? Got to be. Um she was not unknown, mm-hmm. right? I mean, she was come from she came from a privileged background, but she was unknown as an mm-hmm. artist. It was a big risky thing to take on and make and it was very she exposed herself and I mean, she had no idea how the reaction would be or that she would become a big star out of that a big name she get a series out of that she had no idea yeah so it was a it was, it was an artistic risk for her to make that movie yeah you know and she wrote it and it's uh 
you know, for nothing probably. Made it for nothing, mm-hmm. right? And so good for her. And I met her right around that time and she was really sweet. I mean, so nice. I don't I mean I'm saying she's not like that anymore. I have no idea. But uh I assume she is. But uh she was I mean, I just happened to meet her and talk to her for Tribeca Tribeca's films website. Mm-hmm. I think I was doing some sort of some writing some for them or something. Anyway, she was so nice and down to earth and it was enjoying the experience so i could mm-hmm. so it's you know I, I could understand why in other words that would be inspiring to you yeah to, to see that back then you know yeah. i wonder you know it, it it's 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 uh, a I, 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 sometimes i i i i wonder about uh what her what her career would have been like if she had continued to make films, yeah, you know what I mean, TV, like, yeah, yeah, I would love that. What would it <laughs> that have been like? You know, what would it be like for her now if she went back to filmmaking, yeah. or is she just uh, a, a in, TV. in TV now? Yeah, yeah. Um, That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. That's Who an knows? For sure. Bec- it's almost like you know. <laughs> Judd Apatow saved her from from having to <laughs> sustain a a a, a, a c- career as a as a filmmaker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Although you know, uh, I, I I mean I, I I kind of see television and film and it's all, all the same thing. Even kind of I, like I was yeah. on a sitcom and I I I I I, I, I didn't. I I tried not to to be too self conscious or to, to distinguish between the mediums. It's like you know this is this is a movie. This is a movie to me. There are cameras here. We're making a movie. You have a script. It's, script, it's a multi camera. You know, it's an yeah. audience and everything. But we're making them. I I I needed to feel like what I was, was that making one? I remember. Them, like I was making remember, movies. I remember uh, making twenty two movies a year. Yeah. Uh, What's that? Twenty-two episodes. <laughs> oh, I see. Right, of course. It, it was what was that series actually? Because I do remember you being in a season, like in the nineties, I think, or something. Like you were in a c- series for sh- for a little while, right? Yeah. Where so you're like two two thousand. Oh, later. one to two thousand five. I was on a sitcom called Grounded for Life. But, but um, but I I, I wonder, like, if 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 you had the opportunity mm-hmm. to 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 be a showrunner of a of a series to create mm-hmm. a series would you would you go that route rather than um g- like a two picture deal <laughs> with, oh, right. uh, you'd have to be uh, given like both opportunities and then you'd have to choose between them <laughs> right because if you're just handed one opportunity you kind of have to take it, it i mean you know just i feel it. yeah i mean Word. i love that question i mean the lines are bl- like they're blur- blurring even more so now. You know, this is how a lot of filmmakers make their living and actors TV. And there's a lot of really powerful, inspiring things on television. And I, um, that I love and like Miss Maz- the Miss Maisel show is just, mm. I don't know if you've seen mm. the Miss I've seen it. Miss- I love that. Anyway, but if it were, if, I had to choose, like you put a gun to my head. I would choose the movie thing because I think that's just like, what's that little girl's dream, you know, type of thing? It was movies. Right. You were a cinephile. Really, and you said you're a cinephile. It's, yeah, it was so the you movies, have, yeah. you know. So I would take, I'll take the two picture deal, and then who knows what, ha- what would happen <laughs> to. I could die. I would be like, I, die, I could die happy. Like maybe I'll, after well, that, I don't know well, where how, I'd I mean, be. How but many. How many uh, 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 movies. How many feature films is uh, is is um, six seasons of television worth? You know, <laughs> right? Yeah. Because yeah. you you get to yeah. you get to make more movies. Yeah. You know, or you yes. you get to tell more story. It's probably the better, <laughs> smarter. <laughs> It's probably. And you don't I don't have, you know. Don't we'll have see to, if that ever happens. <laughs> we, we, I'll call you. We'll yeah. talk through. <laughs> For advice. <laughs> but fortunately, we don't have that issue. Right now. I mean, you have well, yeah, a, you, you have the uh, Natasha Leone's uh, series just dropped oh, yet, yeah, yesterday. Oh yeah, I saw right? that. Oh, what's Russian, that one? I gotta watch that. Uh, doll, uh, and it's so that. it's twenty-eight episodes. What each is that? Of them on? Twenty-five minutes long. So that's. 
two and a half hours altogether. You sit down, you binge watch the whole thing, and you've mm-hmm. watched basically a, a two hour movie. Right. Mm-hmm. What is that? What What is it on? Uh, what platform? What uh, Netflix. Netflix. What's on Netflix? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because that's good to know. Because I do want to. I like her so, so much. You know, I I don't know how how long did it take to shoot the season? Maybe mm. the same amount of time it would take to make a feature. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't, it's 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 uh it's. It definitely it, seems like yeah, there are more opportunities there for. I mean, I was just it, I could. I was just in the show called Maniac which we can talk about briefly and that's Kerry Fukunaga who's known for his movies and though but Netflix was just like that's the plus side of like the Amazon and Netflix like they're giving these artists like here do whatever you want to do and like he had a good amount of creative control that maybe he couldn't get on a I, I mean I don't know the inner workings too well but that's how it seems. Like he really could do whatever he wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Put me in there, you know. That's I don't know nice. if that was. I, I, I remember that. That's <laughs> incredible. I can easily see you running a, uh, a, TV, a TV, TV show. I mean, I, I TV is great. It's great. I would never like. There's just so many cool. I, I watch. I try to watch everything. I what, try you to. Do? Yeah, I try to. The, like, what are the like? Um, and there is room. What is it? Called? Room. Uh, Room, room 104. 104 I'd on love HBO. for those those and boys to check out the short film. <laughs> yeah. <And> then <laughs> Duplass, the Duplass. Well, they said they're, they're they said they're not going to do anything for a while. Oh really? They have, as they a, a, as don't a, believe it. Know, as a as brothers that they're taking a break oh, from right, working together. They're they're, they're feuding. No, I'm kidding. I don't know anything. Yeah, and I mean, room 104. A lot of actually, my former professor. Uh, she's a really big inspiration, Liza Johnson. Do you know her? No. She's a brilliant filmmaker, and I she mean, did the show. Co- oh, I I know I know she did the show. Yeah, she's like a huge. So did Tom DeCillo, but just the, Tom DeCillo. Tom DeCillo. I thought I, I didn't that listen in to that. Oh, I don't listen. Oh, you should listen to it. Well, that was that's. Uh, I'll t- talk about it off mic. But, he, no, he's um, great, and I loved having him on. But it was particularly difficult. He was going through a very difficult period of time. Oh. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Small. Oh. Um. Anyway, but yeah, Liza directed an episode of Room 104. It's a TV show, but in right. my opinion, it stars Michael Shannon. I'm like, this is a mo- this is a movie. This is the best movie I saw all year, just because it happens to be this TV platform. I don't know. Right. But no, it like, can be very powerful. I was like, right I might as well, yeah, be watching some kind of like foreign. Serbian crazy movie, Room 104. <laughs> it's Room 104. It's, it's yeah. HBO. Well, you know, you get the uh, right, get that right, uh, the perfect storm or whatever, and you know, yeah. the good, the great screenplay or script, and the great actor and and director, and then, you know, it, it's it's doesn't really matter, I guess, uh, but uh, you know, mm-hmm. right? He played uh, Elvis in her movie. She put yeah she did Elvis. You, did you see that Nixon, Elvis. Elvis and Nixon movie that uh, came out a couple of years ago? It was a tripe oh, too. Shannon Michael and Shannon. Elvis. Yeah, I didn't see it. Okay, yeah. the movie was pretty. And, and and who played uh, Nixon again? I some actor. Oh. I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Kevin Spacey, Spacey? played. Uh, Kevin and Spacey. she did no. That she did a really great movie with Linda Cardellini uh-huh. called Return. Oh right, it's yes, about. I did, see that. Uh, did you see it? That's a pretty heavy Oh, duty. you would really like it. Well, you should watch it with your with your daughter. I think she would like it. It's about this woman returning from the Iraq war, yeah, I saw trying it. to readjust mm-hmm. to life. What mm-hmm. is it like? And it's just a really poetic film. And yeah, very sensitive. I love her. Yeah. I just, I learned so much from her. I really, I mean, my college didn't have, it was a liberal arts college. She was really, I, I think she's got, now she's more like, in, she's entrenched in Hollywood. I was lucky, I was there at the right time. Right. Because I got her before she was like, kind of lured away. But, um, well, she's, she's just, you know, they spit them really out. Good. She may be back yet. I don't understand. She might be back to Williams. <laughs> Williams is they a good tend to. School. No, I'm saying Hollywood tends to, you know, try out a new director and use them, and then t- toss them back in, out once you know if they. Uh, yeah, especially the lady. Yes, ladies. especially the ladies. I think for you're right some about. reason. <laughs> Hopefully um, now <laughs> some change will happen with uh, that. Uh, but yeah, uh, they need more. that's how it goes, I guess. Um, Where men are allowed to fail constantly over and over, and they still get to make their movies. 
Okay. You have a problem with that? <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> you have to fail, lose money, yeah. and then they have to do it again. And then it's just like, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Right? Everyone's talking about this now anyway. I've been, We've been talking about this forever. But yeah. Are you in the film Fatals now? Have you done that? I'd, I'd like to they're join. They're mostly documentaries, tr- right? No, they're not. That's yeah, I'd like to join them. I mean, um, I, yeah. Not, We're gonna wind not it. officially in them. I understand. I understand. Well, again, I'm going to say it again. It's called the, the film is called The Poet and the Professor and stars uh, Kevin Corrigan and Bob Byington and Ariel Cavusi, who is also the writer and director. Yeah. And, um, and our we got friends from the uh, Valerie uh, produced it Valerie and Devoe Steinberg. Yates and Devoe Devoe who's Devoe Yates he's he helped with some music right get, okay get some music um, anybody else that we should mention the core team I think he's talked about almost everybody else Charlotte Horns yeah she shot did it. it she shot okay. it mm-hmm. I, I mean yeah there's there's so is a really good t- I mean I think if you go to IndieWire it'll be self evident you just you can find it pretty easily. But yeah. uh, just search, just Google search IndieWire and the Poet and the Professor. It'll come Everybody, up. Everybody, yeah, who worked on it is great. Um, <laughs> except I saw on IMDb, somebody, I have to take it down. Someone's claiming to be a casting director. Oh. And I was like, who? Is, I, I was odd. like, what? I'm not, I'm, n- that guy's not getting credit for this. No way, Jose. <laughs> so That's odd. That guy is. A liar. I don't know who that is, Sometimes. but everybody else is great. Accidents, if you look on IMG. accidents happen. <laughs> um, and anything else you're working on? Are you? Is this uh, show Dice coming back? Or how's that? What's going on with that? No, no talk about HBO that's series. Uh, um, I'm working on an HBO s- show called The Godfather of Harlem. Oh. Actually, that, that's, that's finished. Also, the, I mean, well, you mean the making of it? Maybe huh? the the sorry. Good, good. The Godfather of Harlem. It's it's uh, um, it's by Chris Brancato who created Narcos. It's a period piece set in 1964. It's about uh, Bumpy Johnson. I hate the when the Godfather of Harlem. Forrest oh, Whitaker Bumpy. plays him. Oh, wonderful! He's great. Uh, boy, I don't like uh, something called a period piece that during when I was alive. <laughs> hard time with that <laughs> were you alive in 64 <laughs> it's actually well it was very 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 recently arrived but yes i was okay. i mean alive but i was just barely it's a little before my time just by and a few years yeah i can't claim this <laughs> as much as i'd like to um yeah just thank you again that's called the har- but it hasn't aired yet i know no, that. No, no, so so in it's, the fall I think. so they shot they, one they, season they, or? They, they're still shooting it now but it's okay. almost it's almost wrapped. The gotcha. That's awesome. Okay. And I'm writing. I have a lot more. I mean, I like I said, I have a feature version of this film. If anyone lo- loves it, there's more. And um, if it, you know, anyone out there uh, would like to, uh, yeah, get in contact about that, feel free to do that. I have a. How do they reach you, by the way? Like if they, if some. Um, I they can reach. I have a manager, so they. It's all on I on my. You can okay. look up online. If you, if you you're right, you shouldn't be reaching out under these circumstances, uh, unless you have INDB Pro at right. the very <laughs> least. At the very <laughs> least. Well, I'm writing. I'm always writing, and I'm acting. I'm performing. I'm next. I have. I'm acting, and you know, Alex Karpovsky. He's got a new show coming out on FX. Oh. So I have a little thing. I pop up oh, there nice. a little bit. He used to do you the show. Know, but. He's he's he used really to do this show, but he's I guess he's too famous now. Oh no, really? <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> he's just busy. People get busy. Yeah, and he doesn't but, live around here anymore. He used yeah, to live in Greenpoint. He used to go. Yeah. And um, but yeah, I wrote. I have a bunch more shorts. I have another feature script, which also I wrote a big part for Kevin again, and it is about the end of the <laughs> world. It's about the end of the world. I basically am now, saying in other words. my pitch is like it's like the puffy chair meets melancholia. Okay. I'm really like concerned for the what's happening mm. right now and this yes. is a response to that. I'd be yeah. <laughs> what's I, culture I mean, yeah. I think you should one should be concerned about what's going on. <laughs> right. right now. So yeah, that's about it. Anything else? Any other Thank you guys. Okay. Thank that, you that so fantastic. much. Love, thank love you. having you guys on. Thank you. And thank Kevin. 
Thank you.